Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and to another episode of Research Paper Summary. Today I'll be covering an EMNLP 2020 paper, Bird Tweet, a pre-trained language model for English tweets. The paper trained Bird on English tweets and applied to three downstream NLP tasks, POS tagging, NER, and text classification. In this video, I'll first go over the context and contributions. I'll then dive straight into Bird Tweet and the experimental setup. And lastly, I'll finish up this video by sharing some of the experimental results and analysis. I hope you find this video useful, let's get to it. If you're new here, my name is Ryan, I'm a PhD student based in London and on this channel I mainly share my personal development journey as a student entrepreneur covering my PhD research in AI, my entrepreneurship journey as well as different life design topics. If you're a first generation student, entrepreneurs or both, consider subscribing. BERT has been hugely successful in the common English domains. However, when it comes to social media texts, there's still no existing pre-trained language models for them. Twitter is one of the most popular microblogging platforms, which is why the paper has decided to train BERT on English tweets so that we have a pre-trained language models designed for social media texts. This is different from the common English domains because tweets are generally shorter and contains frequent use of misspellings, slangs, acronyms, hashtags, and emojis. If you're interested in exploring NLP in social media text, definitely check out Bert Tweet. The main contributions of the paper are as follows. Firstly, they presented the first large-scale pre-trained language model for English tweets. The model has achieved state-of-the-art results on three downstream NLP tasks, POS tagging, NER, and text classification. They have released the model under the name Bird Tweet. Secondly, they initialized experiments on whether lexical normalization on tweets would help improve the performance of pre-trained language models on downstream tasks. Let's now dive deeper into Bird Tweet. Now in this video, I will not be covering Bird simply because there are many resources out there already. In this video, I will assume that you know what BERT is. BERT tweet has the same architecture as BERT based with the traditional mass language modeling objective and is trained using the Roberta pre training procedure. The pre training dataset is 80 GB in size, which contains 850 million English tweets, which adds up to 16 billion word tokens. During data processing, the paper applied by pair encodings to convert all those tweets into sub word units. As mentioned, in this paper, they experimented with three NLP downstream tasks, namely POS tagging, NER, and text classification. For each downstream task, they focus on using the common data sets and data processing procedure so that they can effectively measure the performance of BERT tweet. For POS tagging and NER, they simply add a linear prediction layer on top of the last transformer layer of BERT tweet, whereas for text classification, they add the simple linear layer on top of the pooled output. And the last point I would like to make regarding experimental setup is that they use both soft and hard normalization strategy to process the data. With the soft normalization strategy, they simply convert user mentions, URLs, and emojis into special tokens. With the hard normalization strategy, they simply use the lexical normalization dictionaries to normalize the words. Let's now dive into the experimental results. As you can see from all the results table, BERT2 has achieved state-of-the-art results compared to other baseline models on all experimental datasets with one exception on the Ritter POS tagging dataset. Specifically, BERT2 improves previous state-of-the-art by 14% in the WNUT17 dataset and around 5% in the text classification datasets. Overall, the soft normalization strategy tends to perform higher than the hard scores. This tells us that lexical normalization does not seem to be helpful in improving the performance of these pre-trained language models on downstream tasks. And the last point I would like to make is that compared to the extremely large Roberta Large and XLM Large, Bird Tweet underperform in POS tagging and NER scores, but outperform in text classification datasets. And that's it for today's video. A quick announcement. Over the last few months, my friends and I have been developing a platform called Zeratin. Zeratin is a platform that converts non-fiction books into actionable steps so that you can spend less time reading and more time taking actions. On the Zeratin platform, you will find over 150 plus actionable insights from many best-selling books. It will mean a lot to us if you can go check it out and let us know what you think. I will link it up in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys around next time.